Yo, 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 what's up people? My name is Tenachi and I'm here in a new series on a new game called Control. Alright, so this game was out some time ago, but it's just come out on Steam on a sale. And I was meaning to play it when it first came out, but I kind of forgot about it. Then I, it kind of reminded me when I saw it on, on Steam sale. So I've purchased it. I don't think I'm going to get many views for this kind of game, um, especially since it's a, a bit of an old game as well. But I'm going to play it anyway. And since I'm going to play it anyway, I thought I might as well record it. Um, for those who are following me from Satisfactory or Valheim even, uh, I'm still going to continue on both of those games. So I'm not stopping them. But I just fancy doing something a little bit different and uh, I'm in the mood for this so from what I've seen it's a very spooky game a little bit weird a little bit psychedelic a lot of mystery enigma paradoxes all that kind of stuff but there's a lot of action too and as I'm recording this now I've already played about an hour into the game and there's actually a lot of dialogue and I was in two minds whether to uh, skip the dialogue for the recording for these videos or leave them in so I've actually decided to leave them in you might find that a bit boring to watch all the dialogue but in the day you can just skip it if you don't like it but uh yeah anyway with that said let's get straight into this Alrighty. This is gonna be weirder than usual. I like it. I like it already. Can't be helped. You called me. So here I am. And here we are. Where are we going? What are we doing? What's happening? Okay. Alright. I know what? I shut you out sometimes. Do you? I didn't know I'm that. I'm always glad to hear from you. Yeah, me too. It's, it's been a long time. I get my hopes up. Mm. So many times it's led to nothing. I know the feeling, lady. I found nothing. Oh, that's not very good. It's like... We live in a room. And there's a poster on the wall. Right. We stare at it and we think that's the whole world. All right, I don't, but I'm with you. And the poster. The picture's something nice. A landscape, a famous person. Okay. Like in that movie, what is it called? The prison movie. Shawshank Redemption. The room's a cell, and the picture, it's different for each of us. It can be beautiful. That looks so real. Terrible. We're all nice, very nice. Fixed. Well, okay. But it's all a lie. Something to distract us from the truth. Right. They're lying to us. We're lying to ourselves. The room's not the world. Is he gonna turn the around? world is much bigger and much stranger. There's a hole hidden behind that poster that leads to the real world. We all feel safe in that room. Nice. But sometimes, sometimes something crawls out from behind the poster. Uh, this is like a, a Lara Croft uh, character. And that see it happen freak out and try to forget what they saw. Yeah, it looks very similar to Lara Croft to me anyway. I'm here. Okay, I'm here too. Why did you bring me here? <laughs> well, I don't know. I, I, I just started the game. I, I don't know. I didn't mean to. Hello? Uh, hi. Anyone here? I'm me. I'm here. Alright, this is cool. It is a really, really creepy start. I'm loving it. Very weird. Oh, I like it. Very atmospheric. Nice, okay. Uh, Federal Bureau of Control. Hello? Anyone here? Oh, we're on camera. Okay, this is very cool. And this is the first room. I haven't done anything yet. Okay, cool. I don't know much. I saw a video, right? I saw a video too. And um, I have to admit, I did like what, what I saw. Uh, it seems that basically a lot of combat, fast-paced action, a little bit horror, a bit creepy. Um, not usually the kind of game I play, but you know what? I was just in the mood for it. Like F. Hold it down. Okay, correspondence prohibited items reminder. What was that G? Okay, that's fine. We'll get into that later. Okay, what's over here? All right. Okay. Well, the. I'm liking the feel of it. I can see what they mean. They said it was very immersive, uh, great level design. 
and uh, it's actually kind of creepy as well. Well, because I'm playing it really late at night, I hold shift while running to sprint. I'm playing it really late at night with all the lights off, so it sound nice and loud. Actually, let's put that sound louder. Okay, yeah, nice and loud, and. Um, I'm gonna get properly immersed in this journey now. Yes, yeah. Who opened that door? Me? Was that me? I don't know. All right. Do you want to take a leak while we're here, lady? Because you might not get another chance after this. Okay. All right. Federal Bureau of Control. All these years, I've been looking for them, and they were hiding in plain sight. Mm. God, I love it. Very nice, very nice. Okay. Can I start killing things now soon? I want to kill something. Hold on, was that there a second ago? Can we get a drink before we begin the killing? Coffee? No, all out of order. Alright, that's alright, that's alright, I understand. Okay. But why is this place empty? I guess that's what we've got to find out. What's this? What? Uh, Federal Bureau of Control, Attention, or something. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, Alright, it's just not really much information there. Is it all cryptic? Uh, we're not allowed weapons, of course. Pages, laptops, watches, pencil. Number of two pencils? Alright, because I guess you can stab people with pencils, isn't it? Uh, Robert, that ketchup bottle was uh, okay, cool. Alright, what's this? Whoa, what am I done? What I press? Why? What's happening? This is my passport. Alright, let's just get back into the game. Okay. Did I come from this way? I can't remember, but yeah. There's always that old creepy, like 30s, 40s, 50s music. Why is it that that music is so creepy? I mean, you wouldn't hear Spice Girls, for example. But it's some, something about that vintage music. Oh, wow, that is so cool. Hello? Oh, right. The sound is wow. Hey, excuse me. Hey. But he's behind it all, I'm telling you. This cleaners. Is... He's got a good voice. Wow. Do we ever get to see his face? Oh yeah, there you are. You are here about the job. Uh Chinese's assistant. Wait, you half Chinese, half Russian? Interview. Go that way to the elevator. Thanks. Elevator that way. Got it. Very good. I'm Ahti, the janitor, by the way. You'll work for me. You can say I sent you. If they don't hire you, they do. You are no hell of it. There be work for the axe. Take them behind the sound that you are out. The hell? I've done enough night shift loner jobs to know it makes us come off weird. Ahti, the janitor, is a friendly face in my book. Better than somebody with no face at all. <laughs> Think about it. No what? face. But that said, I know what you're thinking. If there's an axe murderer around, that's him. Well, yeah, probably. I mean, you've uh, script the guy scripted it to make him sound very strange, very weird, brilliant. Okay. Um, I don't know, is this the kind of game you got to search everything, or is it just very linear? Hold on. Okay. Yeah, we came up that way before. Alright, take me to your leader. The That's it, lady. You smacked that button. The poster. I was 11 years old the first time I saw behind the poster. They told me I imagined it. I've been trying to pull it down ever since. Will you help? I'll try. I've got no idea what's going on, so it's a bit hard to help.
Well, all of that is just an intro. Okay. All right, this is the kind of game I want to get really immersed in now. Okay. Guys, I recommend if you're watching this, put it uh, full screen. Put it nice and loud. Uh, watch it late at night and uh, let yourself get immersed. Or even better, play the game if you like it, obviously. But, um, wow, very nice. Like Very cinematic, like a movie. lack of control at the moment that's what I feel very much a lack of control any kind of control did I lose you there for a moment yeah you definitely know what's on my mind no I don't my baby brother Dylan how would I know that 17 years since the men of this bureau took him oh also it's revenge is it well a little bit of a little bit of conspiracy a little bit of wonder a little bit of uh what happened and uh, I don't know. This is a wow. That is very cool. Very cool indeed. Okay. But something's not going. No. Okay. Hello. I'm here for the interview. I also to find my brother. Hello. Why is this guy's picture up everywhere? That guy's picture's everywhere, literally. Very creepy. I mean, straight away, we see one guy's picture up, then you're talking about some kind of authoritarian dictatorship, uh, some t a tyrannical kind of a system, corporation. I don't know. Right, so far, I've got to admit they've done a wonderful job of making this feel really eerie. Oh, hey. Right. Oh, of course, yeah, you hear a very suspicious loud noise in a very spooky building. What are you going to do? Go on, go on, investigate. Yeah, well, I guess it, it makes for entertaining and spooky gameplay. Shit. Oh, yes, lady. Shit, shit, I, shit. I told you you should have taken one. We were to the toilet a second ago. You want me to pick it up? The murder weapon? Really? But who said that? Is she is she like are we like her alter conscious like her? Can she? Can, what I don't understand. I want to know who she's talking to. You, you want me to pick it up? I mean, you know what? It's a gun. And there goes the poster. Oh. Objects of power can cause or be results of AWE's altered world events, intrusions upon the perceived reality. Now, the service weapon is, of course, a prime example of an OOP, a very powerful one, uh. ingrained in the Bureau's DNA, a key component in our prime candidate program. Come out of that Russian roulette a winner and you, <laughs> you're it. Um. Oh, she's got to shoot herself, Russian roulette style. What, and this, the gun will kind of bind to her or synchronize with her DNA or something? This place. What? what happened? Where am I? We were just sitting down at a desk with a gun into our head. Where's the gun at least? Well, we lost the gun. What is going on? I love it. Bubble gum, polaroid, what? Oh, what? What? What is this very cryptic language? What's going on? Okay, I'm gonna admit, I am very, very confused. Okay, let's start running now. Can we jump? We can jump, okay. All right, I guess we gotta go across. 
Can we can we jump? Yeah, we can. Okay. Uh, can I have a gun? Oh, sh hello. Oh, I've got to test that on you. In your face! What happened to your head, lady? Your kick ass. Forget Lara Croft. That is. Oh, here's the gun. Oh, this is the thing to synchronize. She's trying to get the gun, and she's gun. and some kind of Russian roulette in internal in your mind. And the gun is the gun is resisting her, and she or something like that. And she's got to try and win it over, or something like that. I don't know. Okay, now I have a gun. Oh, we have the gun already. I like it. How much ammo do you have? What is that? The I don't know what I don't understand. How much ammo do we have? Hello. Oh, no ammo. Alright, we've got the other melee, don't we? Yeah, we've still got the melee. Oh, you can aim. What? Regenerates ammunition automatically when not in use. That is crazy. All right, this is really sci-fi. Uh, okay. Ella. The headshot. In your face. Oh, recharge now? Okay. How long does it take to recharge? Here we go. Oh, my aim is bad. Oh, there's more of them. Oh, they shoot back. Oh, they dropped something. What is that? I don't know. They're dropping something. Enemies drop health elements when damaged. Click it. Okay, fair enough. Makes sense. What's this? Something's coming. Oh, is that the guy's gun we just took? Is he the director? the pyramid spoke to me and it was just noise and I understood every word and this gun's alive you know what I'm happy happy to be here wow you're easily pleased man things have quieted down outside is it safe to go what do you think lady what have you just seen is there anything about this whole this whole uh, you know situation that looks safe I mean, obviously that's why we're here, but um, she's a bit twisted because she's happy to be here after seeing that. I mean, that's not the first thought that would come to my mind. Nice couch. Oh, come on, you got to have a drink. You just spilled all the drinks. Okay. Can we put on a coat at least? No, okay. I don't think anything's... Uh, in I was going to say, I don't think anything is interactable except the stuff that lights up, so it's very simple. But what I've seen so far... Oh, that's real. That's a real actor. Yeah, that's a real actor. Wow, the CGI is amazing. Oh my god, is that a real actor? What? She's twisted. I'm very confused. My aim is really bad. Okay, I need to turn the sens sensitivity down. 
Uh, yeah, okay. I want to turn the sensitive, uh, sensitivity down just a tiny bit because I know it's just a little bit because it was just a bit too high. Okay, let's try that. All right, I hope you've enjoyed it so far. It's just the start and I think it's a little bit slow at the beginning, but I'm sure they're going to pick up very, very soon as I get more familiar with the game as well. Anyway, guys, hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you very soon on episode two, maybe.